Here's the report, how they're going to put sensors in the sewer lines that test your DNA and what drugs you're taking to track and surveil everyone. And there's other crazy news, $3 million for shrimp on treadmill studies. Mike Adams is with us during the three-minute break. We're live on the radio right now, but I'm uploading this behind-the-scenes uh, video for folks. Mike, you can now announce that you've moved to Texas in an undisclosed <laughs> uh, location. It's exciting to have you here, and I appreciate you filling in and sitting in uh, at InfoWars.com sometimes, and the great work you're doing over at NaturalNews.com. Just real briefly in two minutes, tell us why you're uh, here today with this new draconian uh, bureaucratic regulations they're proposing. Well, all of these supplements that you're looking at right here could soon be outlawed under new proposed FDA regulations that are going to put a, an unbelievable burden on these companies to reapply for permission for every ingredient that they've used since 1994. Yes, the FDA wants you to go back 17 years and submit, submit new applications for all of these products so that you can have permission to sell them, permission from the government, permission that the FDA is very likely to deny. Because the FDA says all these products have been adulterated. That's right, they use the word adulterated because they say if you modify an ingredient, such as cooking it or baking it or changing the particle size or fermenting it, now all of a sudden that product is adulterated. And then they can use that adulteration label as justification to come in and raid your vitamin company at gunpoint. But guess who's exempt? Uh, of course, the drug companies are exempt because synthetic chemicals, synthetic molecules do not have to be approved by the FDA under this new scheme. Only natural molecules kind of molecules you find in natural supplements, superfoods. So they're synthetic and, vitamins, to be clear, yes. which in the studies are what have been proven to be toxic. That's right. But they then use to blame all of this stuff that has like dulse and kelp and, uh, and orange peel, evil Al-Qaeda stuff. Right. This is natural. Enterfood is all natural. I even gave this an award before. This is a great product. Yeah, but, but what about synthetic. evil olive leaf? Yeah, oh, right. my gosh. Oh, oh evil. Uh, save me. Antioxidant. But again... Again, they're going after your supplements now. They're going to try to take all these off the market and force you into a hospital and force you to take drugs instead of using natural supplements. And they tried this you. with the Food Safety Act and other things that Big uh, Agra uh, and Big Pharma funded last year. Right. Uh, but now they failed. In there, it said Codex Alimentarius. Folks, it's now happened in Europe. They're banning most over-the-counter vitamins, minerals, superfoods. They're making everybody self-report with all these bureaucracies. We're about to go back live on the radio, streaming at InfoWars.com with Mike Adams, so that'll be it for this special preview, but the whole thing will be up on the YouTube channel later, and of course it's now streaming live at PrisonPlanet.tv. I'm Alex Jones, over and out.